everyone, it's Lauren Messiah, your personal fashion stylist, and we are right in the middle of the Climb the Style Ladder series, how to dress your way to the top in business. So, so far we've done the job interview and meeting with clients. So if you miss those, go back, give them a watch, because today's video is about how to dress for an industry conference. So recently, in the past couple of years, I am at conferences nonstop. Conferences, seminars, I've been to them all across the world. And they're really cool because you get to learn a lot, you get to meet a lot of people, and you get to wear awesome clothes that more than just your dog sees you in. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> so industry conferences are huge and figuring out what to wear to really maximize that experience is huge as well. So I wanna give you one little story. It's not a direct story from me. It's actually something I picked up at a conference. But it was this guy, Dave, and he was talking about making an impact both in person and through social media when it comes to meeting people and advancing in your career. And he told this really cool story about how he wanted to meet this big industry player. And this guy doesn't accept emails. Like he doesn't communicate through email. How you get away with that in this day and age, I don't know. But he has an autoresponder that says, if you wanna meet me, think of a creative way to do it. I don't respond to emails. So this guy Dave goes to this conference and he's like, I'm gonna like wow him. He like flew to another state to meet this guy at a conference and everyone else had that same idea as well. So when he was at the conference, he had on a pair of bright orange shoes and the person he wanted to meet complimented him on the shoes and he was like, what's up with the guy with the orange shoes? I wanna meet that guy. I wanna know about those shoes. So they met. Because of the shoes, he got to meet the contact, he got to say whatever he wanted to say to him, and now they are doing business together. So the takeaway that he took from that, which is a guy that doesn't give two craps about style, but he really experienced the power of style. So from then on out, he made orange shoes his signature style. They're always a conversation starter, there's something that someone always notices, because he's in more of like a corporate environment. So everyone's dressed the same in all their navy blue suits and then he's got these bright orange shoes. So I tell that story just to really drive home the importance of wearing something that stands out when you're at a conference in a sea of people. And I've talked about this tip before because it's really handy for introverts. Whenever I'm at an industry event, I always wear some sort of statement piece, um, some sort of bright color, so people can really pinpoint you and notice you. And it's also a nice opening for a compliment, like, wow, killer pair of shoes, whoa, cool necklace. And you've started a conversation with a person. When you're in a, in a it's not even a room, a venue full of hundreds, sometimes thousands of people, like, people are busy on their phones, they're looking at the agenda, they're running around. So if you have something that can really stop a person dead in their tracks, use that to your advantage. So that's like really the big takeaway that I want you to leave with on this video, is to find either your signature style or some sort of statement piece to grab people, people's attention. Now once you have people's attention, at an event like this for business, there's little things that I want you to consider when it comes to your style as well. One, having your nails done. My nails are not done right now. Don't even look at them. But I'm not at an industry conference. Um, no, I didn't have time this week. But whenever I go to a conference, I always have my nails done because you're gonna be shaking hands, you're going to be meeting people. I don't know about you, but when my nails are not manicured or at least like buffed with clear polish, I feel really self-conscious. If my hands are dry, they need lotion, really self-conscious. 
So make sure your hands are on point because it's going to be a focal point. Shaking hands, introducing, showing people, handing your card. Hands are really important. So get those nails done. Um, don't wear a lot of loud jewelry and crazy rings. It just kind of gets in the way. And sometimes if people have a really strong grip on a handshake, you'll like crush your fingers under the pressure of the ring. Another story. Uh, so nails did. Speaking of hands, make sure you have your business cards. You know, these days, a lot of people, but not enough people, um, are kind of skipping the whole business card thing and they'll put the info right in the phone or they'll follow you on Instagram. But there's still a lot of people who are old school and we're all kind of trained to be like, give me your card, let's exchange cards. So make sure you have your cards, nails done to hand them out, but invest in a really nice business card holder because the worst thing is, and I'm totally guilty of this, in fact, I'm gonna order a new business card case because mine's a little bit beat down, but like fumbling around for a card, looking for a card, you look really like disheveled and unprofessional. Like I've been like digging through my wallet, I'm like there's gotta be one in here somewhere. Pull out like a beautiful card case and be able to just hand that card to make that connection and not make it strange and awkward. And then the last tip that I'll give you is when you're at an industry conference, make sure that your makeup and your hair is something that you feel really confident in because I don't know, like maybe it's just me, but I doubt it. When you're meeting people, especially people that are above you, people that you really want to meet to kind of get your foot in the door or advance or whatever, you're already feeling self-conscious enough talking to them and presenting yourself. So you don't want to worry like, do I have lipstick on my teeth? Or, oh my God, is the part of my hair looking super strange? Or has my ponytail drooped? So just go in like an easy breezy, like pull together but low maintenance type of look. So that doesn't even have to cross your mind. Like I always avoid wearing red lipstick at events like that because you're drinking a coffee and lipstick got in your freaking chin or on your tooth. So I skip that. I also skip like really dark um, eyeliner on the bottom because through the end of the day, like you could have raccoon eyes. It's just a mess. So I just like to make things like super simple and easy so I can shine, my statement piece, my conversation starter can shine, hands are on point for that business card. Trust me, making those tweaks will make your whole conference experience a lot more comfortable. Then you can network shine and move it on up. Another rung on that style ladder. Boom. All right, those were today's tips. I want you to join me for the next video in this series because we are not even, we are only halfway up the ladder. There's like still, psh, there's still rungs to go. Is that what you call them? Yeah, still plenty to go. So please drop a comment below if you have any style tips of your own when it comes to dressing for an industry confer conference or a cool story. Maybe you had a statement piece that opened up the door for your career. I would love to hear about it. So pop that in the comments while you're down there. If the subscribe button is bright red, hit it because it means you're not subscribed. Subscribe to my channel. We've got more videos in this series and plenty of amazing videos that I'm putting out all the time. So get your subscribe on and I will catch you in the next video.